Facebook family, YouTube, Instagram, um, to all my passport bros and brothers that are out there exploring the world, uh, living their best lives. Good morning to you from beautiful Siem Reap, Cambodia. Sitting out here on my deck having a little coffee. And I wanted to make this video as a piggyback on a video that I made earlier, which I really, you know, first watched a video by Uncle D, Dennis Sperlin. Salute to you, sir, as always. Uncle D, the Blizzard King. Um, about how out of pocket and disrespectful some black women were getting about foreign women and how, you know, in all of this past bros, bros, you know, whatever you want to call it, they started not only attacking the brothers, but attacking the women in these other countries. So on this here in Southeast Asia, in Thailand, there's a news outlet called The Tiger. T-H-A-I-G-E-R. Tiger. Get it? Talent. Pretty well noted, prominent media outlet. Um, I watched it during the pandemic. It, it had a lot of good information about what was going on with restrictions and things of that nature in Thailand. Um, but about a week ago, one of their journalists wrote an article about a video that went viral um, on the Daily Rag Up Crew podcast. And I'm going to share that video with you in a moment. Um, fair use, always fair use. I'm going to show that video because there, there, there are two parts of it I want you to see. I want you to see what the first young lady said and then what the young lady, second young lady said. And then, you know, we'll talk about, um, you know, their responses and some of my thoughts. So let me roll that video. Again, fair use. You're like, it's very contradicting. You see what I mean? Because you started the convo talking about you just don't want, you don't just want pussy, whatever, whatever. We don't. So you're going to go to DR. Okay. She can't work if you bring her out here. No, but She's going to just this, suck this, your this, dick this, and cook for you. Oh, I'm no. going to do that too. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm confused. Wow. Well, well, well. There's a lot to unpack here. Um, rap, you, <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you see what the first young lady said about, well, if you bring them back over here, they can't work. All she's going to do for you is cook and suck your, and then she said, I can do that. And I thought that that was very telling. Let me play that again. You just don't want, you don't just want pussy, whatever, whatever. <laughs> we don't. So you're going to go to DR. Okay. She can't work if you bring her out here. No, but she's going to just this, suck this, your this, dick this, and cook for you. Oh, no. I'm going to do that too. Oh, oh no. But yeah. not, I'm, I'm confused. Did you not just hear what she said, but did you hear her girlfriends? Her girlfriends are like, oh, girl, oh, oh. They were like, oh, you, oh, wow. That sounds kind of degrading like that's all we good for when the reality is most of you don't even do that most of us black women won't even do those two things that she said that's why brothers are leaving anyway but i want to sit back and give big props to the brothers on the panel the host who sat back and said these guys are going to marry women that are wives that are raised to be wives and those young ladies could never respond to that so big props to you brother so they stay focused you know because what, what happens is is that like 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 uncle d said you're attacking foreign women now and now it's starting to make the news in those countries and i want to take this time to read the article they said the Daily Rag Up Crew show with three male hosts who discuss the topics of the day in the, with a live studio audience. 
The show invites guests to join their podcast to discuss trending topics, relationships, love, sex, pop culture, and any hot topic of the day on social media. This episode calls the viral storm in Thailand and the Philippines. And I'm reading from the tiger. I'm going to read that again. The episode then went, caused a viral storm in Thailand and the Philippines when the Daily Wrap-Up Crew podcast episode 84, they even got the, po- the episode, which discussed the rise of the sassy men apocalypse. The three female guests on a controversial show, and I'm not going to say their names. Then they have a link to the video. And basically he said that these, he said these are women who dismiss women from the Dominican Republic and Colombia, Thailand, Philippines as uneducated and lacking proficiency in the English language. The female guest shared her opinion. She said, when you pay attention to the passport bros, quote, they are getting women from like Dominican, she didn't even say Dominican Republic, Dominican, Colombia, Philippines, Thailand, like the women who can speak very little English, women who don't have an education, women who are raised to be wives by their mothers. And money, yeah, that, that's, that's materialistic <laughs> I think, shit. I think when we're talking about the passport bros, the thing is like, if you actually like, if you, like when you pay attention to the passport bros, like they're getting women from like, the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, like women can that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education, and not, women that, that need missing, them, women that, that need women them. Women are raised to be wives. Now, she, she ended her comment with a true statement. Women who are raised to be wives by their mothers, because obviously you, you're, you haven't been. So... Congratulations, kudos, at least you're getting it. See, 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 you have got to look past what their words say and really dig deep into what the deeper meaning is. She knows she can't stack up to these women because they were raised to be wise by their mothers. See, now this is going to be another convenient out and a gaslighting opportunity. Say, well, my mother never raised me to, to be a wife. I don't know, but da, 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 da. It's going to be another freaking excuse. But you were right, sister. They are raised to be wives. And that's why I'm in, in Cambodia. And that's why a lot of brothers are in the Philippines and, and, and all of that. Because I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with that. I'm going to take my resources and exercise my options to go somewhere else. And thank you for you, sisters. Because, see, you fell back on the old playbook. Shame, insult degrade, be negative, be nasty, attack, and it's backfiring. I said in the video before, the more you run your mouth, the more you don't shut up, the worse you make it for yourself. And now you're starting to make the news overseas. So what's going to happen if you ever get to the point, if you ever have the courage, the intestinal fortitude to hop on a flight and go to Thailand, how do you think these women are going to greet you? After you done bashed and, and called them uneducated, poor, dumb, can't speak English. Have you ever been to Bangkok? Do you realize, especially like in Bangkok, it's one of the most progressive cities, techni- tech- technologically advanced cities in the world. Have some of the best health care. The, the, the Saudi royal family goes to Thailand for their medical care. There, there's a booming industry of, of, of our medical tourism. People coming to get their teeth done and other procedures done because those doctors are trained at the best hospitals in the world and they don't speak English. You know why? You're showing your ignorance. That shows you've never been there. I'll go what on. What is the matter with you? The male host tried to defend the Western men who chose foreign girls by saying that men liked those women because they were taught to love husbands and families. Big ups to, to you guys. Thanks a lot. The video caused outrage on Thai and Filipino media. Congratulations. You're making a name for yourself. 
It ain't a good name, but you're making a name for yourself. Now you're showing the rest of the world that all of these brothers that are landing and touching down in these countries are leaving for a reason. We ain't got to say nothing negative about you. We don't have to say anything negative about you. You're proving it. You're proving it yourself. You're independently showing other media, other people, exactly how mean, bitter, angry, uncooperative you are. And that's why we're leaving. Ah, I told you. And then a time model named Tia, I'm not going to even try her last name, shared her thoughts on the matter by posting a reaction video. You know, and, and basically she said, I'm sorry, but I'm not just going to stop there. The amount of disrespect in this video is unfathomable. Do, can any of you use that word? Do you know what it means? But she can't speak English. And she said this in English, by the way. Not only did you just generalize I, one country, but three. Did you even know that in the Philippines, they speak English as their second language? Great point. Have you ever traveled outside the U.S. yet? Shots fired. Because I know a lot of Americans that have never even left America. See, now, she didn't even differentiate and say black American women. She said Americans, because you're painting a brush on all Americans, because that's how they see you, see us. If you come to Bangkok, Thailand, a lot of people here do speak English very well. Tia speaks her opinions in English. The same women you said were dumb can speak English. And again, y'all asking questions. They speak two, maybe three languages. How many do you speak? And a female TikToker named Viancy weighed in on the topic. She suggested that, that the woman and the other two women should have visited the Thailand before offering their opinions. We can speak two languages, English and Filipino. Can you? Now, see, the Filipino women getting kind of fed up with this. But even in their clapback, they were still civil. They invited you to come to their country and see for yourself. They didn't get mean or nasty. So, so as I end this video, I just want to bring up some points. The ignorance and hypocrisy is astounding. Like you said, unfathomable. They can't work. Yes, they can. If you bring a woman back to the States, they can work. They can do the proper paperwork, get the green card, they can work. That just shows that you don't know what you're talking about. And then she said, all she's going to do is just cook and sex you. I can do that. That's letting me know that you're insecure. Why are you going to get her just to cook and you don't get it? So it really bothers. It bothered that young lady. You know, and then uh, uh, another point that she said in the video is that, well, they, you know, they need those brothers. That's why they with them. Other words saying we don't need them, but yet we can't stop talking about them. We can't talk about why they leaving. Oh, they just need them. Everybody wants to feel needed. <coughs> Every, excuse me. Everybody wants to feel needed. Yes, I like that my wife needs me and I need her. What's wrong with that? Does that go against the independent woman paradigm that you don't need anybody? But you're number one in poverty, number one in evictions, num you know, 29% kids born out of wedlock. You need somebody. Maybe you need Jesus. I don't know who you need, but you need somebody. And, 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 and Again, the, the astounding ignorance, I mean, Bangkok is one of the most progressive cities in the world. But you haven't been there. So you're talking out of your fourth point of contact.
to all my airborne brothers. They know exactly what you mean. You're speaking out of your fourth point of contact. You have no idea what you're talking about. And now you're making a bad name for yourself and for all Americans by not just shutting up and putting some work into changing yourself. You'd rather attack, deflect, blame, degrade, and be nasty. And it's backfiring. You know, and in and, and the context of all she's going to, she can't work. See, she, she's not going to be able to do this and all she can do is that. You're assuming that brothers are bringing these women back. And I'm sure some are. My wife does not want to come back to the States. She says, baby, I would love to go and see, you know, all the stuff that I'd seen in movies and, you know, all of the tourist stuff. I would love to see it, love to go shop and taste some of the food. But as long as I got a round trip ticket because Cambodia is my home, they don't have a desire. You know, they're, they're, they're so connected to family and culture. That they don't want to live there? What? You think they want to be around you? We don't want to be around you. Like I said in my, one of my first videos, why would I bring her to this craziness that I left? But my closing thoughts are thank you, sisters. Congratulations. You are achieving your goal of making yourselves look like total idiots all over the world. And it's really sad. It truly is sad because it reflects badly on all of us. But either learn, shut your mouth, and focus on bettering yourself. And the outcome will be better. Again, this is Ed with Ed Travels here in beautiful Siem Reap, Cambodia. Enjoying some coffee on the deck as I start my day. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Um, again, thank you so much. Please click subscribe, hit the notification button. Thank you for watching the videos. And I got more coming. You guys asked for it, so I'm going to provide it. More content coming your way. Uh, again, love you guys. Nothing you can do about it to all my airborne brothers. Airborne all the way. Love you. Talk to you later. Namaste.